Hello and welcome back. First, let's add the IP addresses for the PC and the Sophos firewall. This is the default IP for Sophos on port 1. The IP address for Sophos port 1 is set to point 0.16, and the PC side is set to point 0.10. Power on the management PC. After powering on the PC, click to open a new tab for Windows. Log in the PC using username user and password test123. Now, set the IP address on the PC. After setting the IP address, try pinging the Sophos firewall. It should be reachable because we have already started the Sophos firewall. Click Sophos firewall then open new tab. The Sophos firewall is initializing. Try to log in using default password admin. Sophos firewall needs some time for functional. By following these steps, you can view the interface wise IP addresses. Now, add the firewall WAN IP and gateway in the diagram, which are configured dynamically on port 2. Now, go to Management PC and open a browser. From the browser, type the Sophos port 1 IP address with https colon slash slash. Accept the Sophos and user terms. In the Basic Configuration tab, set a strong password for the admin user. Set a strong password for the Secure Storage Master Key, note, you will need this key or password later. Set the time, time zone, and host name for the firewall. Click I do not want to register now. The basic setup is complete. Now, click continue. Now, click continue. Enable all network protection and click continue. Sophos image download email address set.
Click Finish to complete the initialization of the Sophos firewall. It will take 5 minutes to apply the configuration. After that, the firewall will reboot automatically. Relog into the firewall with the new password for the admin user. Then select I don't have a serial number, choose to start a trial, and click next. Finally, you will see the Sophos Firewall Dashboard. Then, go to the Network tab and view the physical interfaces with their respective IP addresses. Then, go to the Administrator tab and check and set Administrator Access Permission after that click Apply to set the permission. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Drop a comment below, I'd love to help. See you in the next video.